Um, stentor and eyesight, I'm going to skip over that because that's really for um, radiology, for clinicians who want to see the actual x-rays of patients. Um, it shows them a, a much higher resolution than Vista Imaging. Um, and then Tripler Terminal Server, that's uh, only if you have access to Tripler, um, you'll be able to go through through um, to access them their their system through this link. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to to go to to get in there. Um, up to date is another website for nursing staff or clinicians or providers, um, and I believe it it discusses or it talks about drugs, different types of drugs, yeah, and drug interactions. So um, it's good for pharmacists or other clinicians. Okay. So you notice there's so many things that's in the, clini in, in the clinical resource link that can help you. The other link that I really like is the CPRS help link. We get so many phone calls for note removal requests. And what many of you don't realize is that the link to, to requesting a note removal is actually in CPRS in the tools menu under CPRS help link. So when you click on that link, it brings you to our web page. Oh, sorry, it brings you to our PDF, and it shows you step by step how to request a note removal from CPRS. Okay, you can print this out, or you can save it in your Z drive. So please help us spread the word. Um, if there's any residents there, or any other providers or clinicians that that made a mistake in the system they can actually go in CPRS under the tools menu, CPRS help links, and click on that um, note removal request to get the instructions on how to do that, okay? Also, we have a link to our local CPRS training page. This is our CPRS training page, and I just wanna give you a little warning or heads up. I no longer, I haven't been a webmaster for our facility for quite a while now, but I've still, you know, was tasked to update our website, but recently, um, because of CRISP, I don't know, I think you guys might have heard, the IT folks, they've cut off all of my access to the web server, so I no longer can do updates, even if I want to. So what you see here, it's going to be moving. I'm going to move all of these training demos and PowerPoint slides and everything, I'm going to move it all onto YouTube, which is actually even better than our website because it'll allow you to watch these videos and PowerPoint presentations and um, recorded classes at home without the firewall. So stay tuned. Um, as soon as I get to move a few of the, of the um, classes and I can test it out, make sure it runs well and it, it streams well, then I'm going to do a class on it and show you guys how to subscribe to um, our YouTube channel. So hopefully in the near future, maybe another week or two, I'll have something to tell you guys or to update you on. But in the meantime, feel free to access or continue to access our local training page. All the information there is up to date as of right now. We also have a link to the CPRS homepage, the national one. So just in case for any of the, those of you who are at PACS on the call, um, if you are interested in reading up about the latest patches for CPRS or looking into specific packages, you, you can go in here. These are all the different guides and patches that we have for CPRS. And then there's, oh, actually there's another link that it's not on the tools menu, but I, I, I want to point out to any of the ad packs that are on the call that really, really helps you out and, and nobody really knows about. It's, um, VA, it's called the Vista Documentation Library, and it's really a good resource for anyone who's in charge of their own Vista package. So the actual link is www.va.gov forward slash VDL. And when you click on that, when you go to that page, there's different choices. There's clinical packages, there's infrastructure packages, there's finance packages. So for anybody here that's like in payroll or in firms, you could actually go into the financial administrative package and then you can go into there and there's user manuals, there's technical manuals, there's a whole bunch of information there that will really help you do your job. So as an example, I'm going to go into clinical because it's, it's our focus here in, with our CPRS Lunch and Learn. And you see there's so many um, VISTA packages here. 
So let's say I was a, um, a pharmacist, let's say, and I was interested in reading more about the um, adverse reaction tracking package. I could actually click on that and then there's the user manuals there in PDF as well as the technical manual and it will show you step by step. Um, we here, Paul and Mel and Sharon and myself, we often get phone calls about how to do certain things in some of these packages and unfortunately we're not um, the experts in there. We support the entire structure maybe or maybe stuff that's related to CPRS overall but when it comes to individual packages we don't really know it because it's it's just too too granular of a, of a detail. So we often would refer the person to this website and from there they can print out the tech manual and as a matter of fact a lot of times we look in there ourselves to try to help you guys out. And so this is where we go. This is our resource. And so um, we want to encourage you to go in here as well. Obviously if, if there's something that's confusing to you or you're not sure which link to click on then that then you can ask us and we'd be more than happy to help you figure out which package or which link. So for example, you see pharmacy has quite a number of packages and you may not know what a particular option, which package it belongs in. So then you can just give us a call. And notice there's also scheduling right here for those of you who uh, schedule a lot, schedule patients. And you notice this one looks a little bit more complicated than the AR, the adverse reaction tracking package. There's a bunch of manuals here and it looks kind of like you're, you're like, okay, which menu should I go into? Um, you can feel free to look through them or if you, you're pressed on time, you can always ask us and we can help you figure out which, which one, um, which ma manual you should take a look at. Because um, sometimes you may not, you may not um, need to read all of these. You may just want to know how to do something, how to, you know, run a report um, and sometimes you might want to know how to set something up, how to you know design something within your package. Um, those are different manuals so we just want to you know kind of let you know that this resource is out here and please take a look at it. Okay.